well hey guys what's up it's why one and only ar legends and yeah guys today i am back with the next part of what if naruto was neglected by his family and had the power of hakai so yeah guys it is a pretty interesting series and if you guys have not seen the previous part of this series please check it out you guys will definitely like it and yeah guys before starting this video, I would like to make a request to all of you guys who are watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel and if you guys have not subscribed yet, please guys do so. It would be really really helpful to me. And yeah guys, I have also put the link of my Instagram within the description below. So please follow me on Instagram and yeah guys, I have also made a new part in my other channel which is what if Naruto was neglected by his family and was taken by the Usutsuki. So yeah guys, it is a pretty interesting series. I have already uploaded the first part of it. So if you guys have not seen it, please check it out. The link is in the description below. So yeah guys, without any further ado. And yeah guys, the for the next part, the like goal is going to be, let's see about it. 200 likes and 80 comments as usual. So yeah guys, complete that and I shall upload the next part as soon as possible. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let us start the video last time we left off as we saw that how naruto was you can say after the qb attack jiraiya sunade as well as the summoning contracts of all around the elemental nations gave the same premonition about a child being born who shall harness the power of destruction either be the salvation of the world or shall be its destroyer as both jiraiya and sunade as well as the other you can say the summoning Summon thought that it was Menma and Roko since the QB was thought to be a destroyer itself, a natural disaster itself. And, and both Menma and Roko possess the power of the QB. So obviously the premonition was talking about Menma and Roko. As while on the other hand, Minato was trying to solve the situation about Naruto. First, he was infected with the QB's chakra, and on second, the other civilian council members as well as the shinobi council members were demanding the head of Naruto. So Minato decided to give a compromise as he told them how Naruto possessed the QB, the strip form of the QB as QB has lost its power and Menma and Ruko are the jailer of the power of the QB while Naruto is the Jinchuriki of the QB as all the hatred was directed towards Naruto so that Melma and Ruko could be protected and when the day comes they shall fulfill their destiny as all that hatred was pointed towards Naruto as after that well for the lack of better word Naruto's life became a living hell in Konoha after the age of four he was literally beaten to a pulp by the villagers on daily basis especially on his birthday while his parents according to the day struck with the civilian and the shinobi council for you can say protecting Menma and Naruko all the blame would be put on Naruto and Minato would not do anything concerning Naruto granted as long as he lived as Minato Kushina as well as you can say his godparent decided to make some distance between themselves so that when the inevitable when happened thinking that Naruto was a lot weak thanks to the infection caused by Cubis chakra he will die soon enough either by the by his disease or by the villagers themselves as Naruto's life was a living hell but all that hatred all that anger turned into a blinding rage thus chosen by the energy of the destruction itself as Naruto started to harness the power at one night when he was attacked by the villagers and started to have the power which he was destined to have as a destroyer of the elemental nations as he awoken his power as all the shinobi villages, all the along the elemental nations, the energy of destruction was fed as Naruto simply Hokkai, all the you can say shinobis that were there who were trying to attack him as Naruto has awakened his destiny. As after that, he started to train with his new power, seeing that how it was pretty, you can say, amazing power. He can literally destroy anything and everything from the very fabric of reality itself. As his power was literally the strongest force in the elemental nation as he started to train with it. So yeah guys, that was the last part where we left off. So let us start the video from here. 12 years, Naruto is now at the age of 12 and he was as usual in the academy. In this meantime, he had little to nothing learn from the academy so he was training in his free time and the people of Konoha were very, you can say generous enough to 
you can say volunteer for his training of his destruction energy. So he was using them literally for test dummies to control his new power as he was able to control to do so. But previously, whatever he may touch with the energy of destruction, he will eradicate it from the very fabric of reality. But now he can control his energy of destruction to only enhance his physical strength to beyond comprehension. At the age of 12, Naruto believes that he could take on the full power punch of Tsunade and grab it with little to no trouble. And that is not, you can say, simple bluffing or anything like that. No, he can see even his own attacks will not hurt him as as Naruto had plans for the elemental nations, he had swore that he will bring justice. No, well, for the lack of better word, he will bring his revenge to this village and then he will decide the fate of the elemental nations. But at the moment, since the people of Konoha were so happy to volunteer themselves for his training, who is he to deny them? So he is staying at Konoha for the moment, waiting for the right opportunity to control his new powers completely. And when he is ready, he is going to leave this god forsaken village to its own destiny and go around the elemental nations and see what is there for him. And if, were, if Konoha were to stop him, well, they shall meet their own end by the hands of the destruction. As he looked towards his hand as purple energy surrounded it as a, sin as a sinister smirk came to Naruto's face as now finally he has reached the academy. As he appeared in a blur, the world around him was at a standstill to his eye as he simply walked inside of the academy. As he looked around to see, you can say all the so-called, you can say shinobi to be were present in his eyes. They were literally children, especially his arrogant siblings. Well, to his the, today is the day he shall, you can say, break the perception of him being the so-called dead lost of the academy. He will show them who he really was and today will be the day he will be recognized either as a threat or a potential asset. As I simply scoff at that thought, huh, as if he will ever be the asset of someone else. As he simply let the world around him speed out once again as he simply walk inside of the academy as the, you can say, the other children in his eyes of course started to look towards him and started to murmur among each other. In this time, Naruto has proven himself to be not taking shit from anyone. People, whenever they try to bully him or anything like that, only a look from him was more than enough to show them their true place. As with the mere look and with the presence of his power, he was able to show them who he really was. And they simply leave him alone by simply saying that how he was a demon and things like that. And after saying that, running away. But today, he will show them who he really was as he simply decided to take his seat. As the exam after that started to begin, as Naruto noticed the pathetic attempt of a Genchutsu on his paper as he looked towards Mizuki who was looking towards him with an innocent expression on his face as Naruto smirked. Huh, well he will show that Chunin later on. But at for now, he simply looked towards the paper and destroying the chakra which was making the Genchutsu in the first place and started to complete his paper, pathetic attempt for the exam, who was the first Hokage, what was he famous for, what was the Chutsu of the second Hokage, as he simply scoffed at that, as if he cared about those pathetic Chutsus to begin with, as he simply completed his paper, and after some time, you can say, the next exam began the Shuriken and Kunai, as Naruto simply scoffed at that, but decided to do it nonetheless, as he, he saw his, you can say, arrogant sibling along with their arrogant friend Sasuke Uchiha who was equally, if not more, uh, arrogant than his own siblings. As all the exam was finally over, as Naruto performed their pathetic Chutsu of Academy 3 and got his headband, but before he could leave, Iruka and the other Chunin arrived well class. Since most of you have graduated, we have decided to show the merit of our Academy by showing it as the council members along with the Hokage Sama will arrive in a small tournament. You will show your merit and your steel to the Shinobis of this village and therefore you will show that how powerful you have become and you're married to the village as well. As many of them were excited as Sasuke gave a smirk to Menma as I said, huh, 
Well, Manma, it seems that you're going to be humiliated in front of your parents as Manma smirked. Huh, well, same could be said for you, Uchiha, as both of them glared towards each other, as while on the other hand, Naruto, who already knew what was going to happen, simply closes his eyes. He could already feel the presence of the many of the council members who has already arrived outside of the academy as Iruka started to bring them outside as the arena was already made with some steels to, you can say, strengthen it. As you can say, the council members were present there along with the civilian council members who were glaring towards Naruto who simply looked towards them and looked away like they were mere insects which made them even more furious. As while on the other hand some of the shinobi council members who noticed that behavior and narrowed their eyes towards Naruto while on the other hand Minato decided to ignore it as he looked towards his other children Menma and Naruko as Fugaku Uchiha speak out well Minato it seems that it's time that you will realize the Uchiha superiority of my son as he looked towards Minato with an arrogant smirk as Minato simply shook his head as he said alright then as she started to give a small speech about the villa fire and the bullshit, I don't care much about it anyways. As now let us start this small tournament of ours. As she nodded as some of the civilian children arrived and they were eliminated after some time as the matches were progressing and now it was the name Naruto Uzumaki versus Kiba Inuzuka. As Kiba came with arrogant smirk as Soon was the one of the you can say shinobi council member who was demanding the head of Naruto after her husband died in the nine days attack. So she blamed everything on Naruto and Kiba you can say completely believes in her in his mother realizing that how Naruto was a demon and should be treated as such. So he was one of the great bullies who tried to bully Naruto and tried to attack him but Naruto did not take his shit and you can say always scared him off. His instincts were screaming at Kiba that he was against Alpha but he decided to show the superiority of his clan as he looked towards Naruto with an arrogant smirk as he said alright demon are you ready to realize your true place which is far beneath the Alpha like myself as Naruto looked towards him with a you can say bored expression on his face you know I always knew that dark dogs bark a lot as Kiba glared towards him as he said, alright enough, as he looked towards, you can say, Iruka, Iruka sensei, let's begin this match so that I can show him the power of a true alpha. As Iruka nodded, as he glared towards Naruto a little bit, Iruka's hatred for Naruto knew no bound as he was alongside with Mizuki. As both of them hated Naruto with a passion as they lost their parents in the QB attack, as Naruto simply looked towards, uh, you can say, Kiba. As Kiba said, as Kiba smirked, alright now, I shall show you the power of a true alpha as he rushed towards Naruto as Soom was smirking as she looked towards Kushina, well Kushina, are you ready to bring your son to the hospital if any doctor were to touch him to begin with as Kushina decided to ignore her as Tsunade speak up, don't worry Kushina, I will heal him properly as Kushina nodded but did not look much concerned to begin with as you can say Kiba arrived in front of Naruto as he delivered a punch but to his surprise his fist hit nothing but mid-air as many of the council members were surprised as the civilian council members were eager to see the demon brat beaten to a pulp but to their shock the Inuzuka brat you can say simply missed and the demon brat was missing as Kiba was about to spin wondering where he was but suddenly his face was grabbed brutally as you can say before he could understand anything his face was slammed into the ground so brutally as the crunch noise filled the whole area as there was a dead silence as Soon could not believe her eyes that her son was caught and she did not even saw that demon moving as Naruto slammed his face into the ground brutally breaking his nose as Naruto bring him upward and slammed it once again into the ground shattering the ground as cracks were appearing in it as Naruto threw Kiba like he was just a trash into a nearby bean crank of you can say simply throwing him into a nearby nearby dustbin 
as like he was nothing but a trash in his eyes as you can say Akamaru barked towards Naruto and tried to lunge towards him but Naruto simply kicked the puppy literally and threw him into one of the walls of academy as there was dead silence there as Soom could not believe her eyes she had trained Kiba and she knew that he was strong for a genin by that demon how dare he as she was she wanted to lunge towards him but you can say a look from Minato stopped her right there as she growled towards him and rushed toward her child who was unconscious. As many of the council members started to look towards each other as Minato was also surprised he did not knew that Naruto was that powerful he thought that after all the reports clearly said that Naruto was a dead loss who knew nothing but to cause trouble for the for his other you can say class members and this was a surprise to him as Menma simply scoffed at that as the next matches began and after some time it was the match against Naruto Uzumaki versus Sasuke Uchiha as Sasuke smirked arrogantly as he arrived as he looked towards his father who was there giving him the Uchiha superior smirk as Sasuke gave the same smirk back he was looking for his Aniki to show him that how much he has grown but his li older brother was nowhere to be seen but unknown to him Itachi was there present in the trees as he was in the Ambu God for the Hokage as Minato was chattering with Kushina as Menma and Naruko, Naruko has fight off against you can say a arrogant Hinata who was more like you can say Menma universe Hinata and she had a crush on Menma of course. So but in the end Naruko was able to win thanks to her chakra chains she was able to drive Hinata outside of the ring thus you can say eliminating her while Menma fought against you can say Shino and he was able to win and now it was Sasuke's turn. As Sasuke looked towards Naruto with an arrogant smirk as he said, well then, it seems that your luck has ran out, huh? Well, that weakling Kiba was not a, you can say challenge, I know that, he was just a weakling. But it seemed that he was even weaker than I thought, huh? Good for that dog of a clan at this zoom growled towards the brat as Fugaku was giving her a smirk. As Naruto looked towards him, as he said, you know, I rather fire your older brother after all everyone knows that he is the real Uchiha superior not like you just a brat as Sasuke could not believe his hair how dare this dad lost to say something like this to him and Uchiha and elite as he glared towards him as he said alright enough of it as he looked towards Iruka who nodded as Iruka was also waiting for the, for the beat down that Sasuke was about to give to Naruto, he lost his previous opportunity. It seemed that the Mizuki's Genjutsu did not work and somehow the demon realized it and now he cannot even change it. As he glared towards Naruto once again ready to see the beatdown. But Naruto was simply sigh. it seemed that he will take this one a bit seriously. After all that dog was just that, a dog. So he did not took him seriously as he looked towards Sasuke as Sasuke smirk as he vanishes from the eyes of many of the children there as Fugaku smirk as he gave you can say the superior Uchiha smirk to Minato who was looking keenly towards Naruto after all Naruto was a mystery and he wanted to know about his you can say a strange son. As Sasuke appeared in front of Naruto as his dry fist fist into the face of Naruto as a bam was heard. At this Fugaku smirk got even wider but to you can say many people surpri surprised especially Sasuke. It was Sasuke who grabbed his fist and jumped back a little. His, his you can say fist was it was like he has hit a pure steel and it was hurting a lot it was already red as he looked towards his hand and then towards Naruto who simply looked towards him with a bored expression on his face is that all Uchiha as Naruto opened both of his hand and you can say body and looked towards Sasuke well then you have 10 seconds you can attack and I will not block I will take all of your attacks so why don't you begin it Uchiha if you're not I think that your brother would be disappointed after all. You are considered a just a second rate Uchiha compared to your older brother as Naruto looked toward the tree. Itachi who was hiding there was surprised that he was able to sense him and to know who he actually was as Sasuke quickly realized that his older brother was there. So he looked towards the direction where Naruto was looking and behold 
ए आम्बू वस देयर द मास्क ऑफ द आम्बू इट वाज डेफिनेटली हिज ब्रदर एस आस्किंग ग्लेड टुवर्ड्स नारतो एस ही जंप टुवर्ड्स नारतो पंपिंग हिज चक्रा इनटू हिज बॉडी जस्ट लाइक हिज फादर टॉट हिम एंड डिलीवर मल्टीपल स्ट्राइक्स एट द सेम टाइम एज ही ड्रोव हिज कुनाय टुवर्ड्स द शोल्डर ऑफ नारतो रेडी टू शो दिस this dead lord who he actually was he was an uchiha an elite as he drove the kunai but to his utter shock the kunai bent as naruto looked towards him well then uchiha it seems that the 10 seconds are over now then it's my turn as naruto vanishes from the eyes of everyone shocking many of the especially the civilian and the shinobi council members and just like that sasuke was launched in the mid air as sasuke tried to move and try to scream naruto was like a blur hundreds of attacks were delivered to well for naruto hundreds of taps he gave to the body of the uchiha as sasuke tried to scream but no scream came out of his body for most of the people there it was like a like naruto simply kicks sasuke into the mid air and then vanishes and sasuke simply went down into the ground and it was over as sasuke had you can say multiple broken bones at this point itachi who had activated his mongeku sharing gun has only seen some blurs as he saw how naruto was simply pinching his little brother all over his body and just like that many bones were broken as sasuke's eyes were simply wide open and no pupil was visible he was unconscious as naruto simply looked towards the body and he came out of his blur and looked towards uchiha with a you can say disappointed look ha huh. as he simply scoff so much for the uchiha elite pathetic no wonder your clan was beaten by the senjus as after saying that he simply started to walk away pissing off you can say many of the uchihas that were present there fugaku simply could not believe it he had also activated his charging gun and he has seen that demon brat moving at hypersonic speeds but he did not realize what it actually was he just only saw blurs and how his son was beaten down that easily as sunade quickly bring the uchiha there as fugaku while on the other hand was simply glaring towards naruto swearing that he will have his revenge on the demon brat as after that itachi also came down to see his little brother as sunade was healing him as sunade had a shock look on her face as menma was now glaring towards naruto he did not understand how how that actually happened sasuke was his rival well granted not as powerful as him as menma always hold back but still he was powerful and should be able to take down that loser to and defeat him with little to no trouble but he was able to do that to his rival it seemed that naruto is stronger than he expected it seemed that he was not only a you could say just a creep as he glared towards naruto and now all the matches began as iruka looked towards the list it seemed that they have a odd number here as he looked towards the hokage as he said hokage sama we have a odd number <clears throat> it seems that all of your children by looking towards naruto and spitting the name all of them as his children like it was poison are present in the finals as minato looked towards you can say naruto for some time but nodded as he said well then all right have them a three way match i want to see their true progress and how will they actually do in this situation minato completely knew that menma and ruko will team up against naruto but this was a great opportunity to see what naruto was really made up of after all his son was the civilian and the shinobis were unable to find him over the year after his 6th bir- birthday no one no mobs were able to find him and many people around the you can say village has gone missing and naruto has beaten some of them to the ground who have actually found them he thought that it must be he was taking his training seriously he still has some suspicion on naruto about the missing people but there was little to no evidence that naruto could have done something to them after all many of them were jonins he has also checked the seal on naruto at one situation thinking that somehow kyubi has regained his chakra but it was not the case kyubi was still chakra less so naruto did not had any other power so therefore something else must have happened to them so he decided to you can say leave it at that but now it seemed that he had underestimated his son as he looked towards you can say menma and ruko as both of them gave a smirk to his, their father and now they have arrived inside of the ring 
as men must speak up. I do not know how you did that. That last, but I will show you the power of the true Namakase air and will show you you are just a blight to the name of the Namakase and Uzumaki clan. And I shall show you what the true Namakase air could actually do. As Naruko smirked, yeah, I will prove to you that why we were chosen as heirs and you were simply disregarded as trash you actually are. As Naruto simply looked towards both of them. Hmm, if you really believe that, so what are you going to wage at that, Manma Naruko? Do you guys truly believe that you are the heirs to the Namakaze and Uzumaki clan and more deserving than me, huh? As both of them smirked at that, of course, we are superior to you. And Naruto simply smirked back, oh, so you are confident on your winning, huh? So why don't you wage that very titles right here, right in front of everyone, after all, the civilian, the shinobi council members are present here. If you are so powerful, so worthy of the titles of the Uzumaki and the Namakaze clan, then why don't you wage it right here and right now in front of everyone, as that statement shocked everyone, especially Minato and Kushina, as Menman scoff, huh, and you really, really think that you are powerful enough to take the title, huh? Alright then, ha I. Menma Namakaze, heir to the Namakaze clan in the presence of the both the civilian, the shinobi, the elder, as well as in the presence of the Hokage, hereby wage my title as the Namakaze heir in this challenge to Naruto. As he refused to say Namakaze and Uzumaki as Naruko smirked, not realizing the you can say shocked and horrified looks on both Minato and Kushina's face as she also said the same, I, Naruko Uzumaki, heir to the Namak heir to the Uzumaki clan, hereby wage my title in this duel against Naruto as she looked towards to her parents, not realizing their horrified expression as Jiraiya and Tsunade were also worried now as Jiraiya started to laugh. Well, don't worry, Minato. They will show Naruto his true place and he will realize that his siblings were more worthy of the position. Yeah, right? As both of them nodded at that, after all, they are the one who trained both of them. Well, there was a, you can say, bad feeling in their guts. As Naruto simply looked towards them with a devilish smirk started to come to his face. It was pure evil. As Naruto started to laugh inwardly. To be honest, he did not care about the titles. But he is going to damn drag the name of both Kushina and Minato through the, you can say, rock soon enough, so why not have the title and in such a fashion, it could only be taken in such a fashion as well. The title, well Naruto will have it after this match cannot be removed even by Minato and Kushina unless they have a new child who they can give since Menma and Ruko had waged such a title, then it cannot be given to them once again after losing in such a manner, it can only be granted to them after this loss of course. When they will be able to defeat him again, well, <laughs> no, that is not going to happen in a million years. As Naruto looked towards them, as I said, alright, I, Naruto, Uzumaki, Namakaze, shall accept this challenge and after this match, I shall be named as the heir to the both Uzumaki, Namakaze clan, their clan library, their clan, you can say fortune and jutsus will belong to me. As he simply looked towards them, who glared towards him, as Naruto simply looked towards the Hokage with a devilish smirk on his face as the bad feeling started to set in the gut of Minato. As he looked towards Iruka who was shocked in such a turn of event, looked towards the Hokage who had no choice but to nod. As Iruka nodded as he looked towards them, so are you guys ready? As they simply nodded at that as he said, alright then, I hereby begin this official match as he started the match as Menma and Naruko looked towards each other as both of them came into their respective positions and as Menma rushed towards Naruto as Naruko quickly bring out her chakra chains as, she, as the chains started to support Menma as Menma appeared in front of Naruto in a blur ready to show the you can say fruit of his training. As he appeared in front of Naruto as he moved his you can say fist but at the last moment changed the direction of his hand as he put his hand into the ground and bring his kick towards the neck of Naruto. But to his surprise, Naruto caught his, you can say, leg with 
a lot of ease as Manma started to move his both of his hands and started to move his other leg trying to trap Naruto. But Naruto simply moved out of the way as the chains rushed towards Naruto as Naruto simply smirked as he simply pushed Manma a little bit and grabbed the chains of Naruko as Naruko was shocked. But she quickly came out of her shock and tried to suppress the chakra of Naruto. But something was wrong, something was blocking her. Her chains started to like they started to rust a little. And started to pull Naruko towards himself and started to you can say rotate the chains rapidly. As Menma quickly realized what was happening as he tried to move to Naruko, trying to scream uh, to cut the connection between herself as well as the chains. As Naruko tried to do so as the connection was finally cut before she was about to spin in the momentum of the chains. As Naruto smirked as the energy started to surround you can say the chains. The chains which were supposed to disappear did not as a purplish energy surrounded it. As Naruto had chains in his hand as a weapon as Kushina was literally shocked. Whenever the connection between herself and the chains were cut, the chains simply disappeared but somehow Naruto has grabbed them and they have not disappeared. As Naruko was shocked, how? How was that happening? As Naruto looked towards her, well 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 Naruko, thanks for the gift of the chains. They are fitting for the heir of the Uzumaki clan. Well too bad, you no longer can use them. As Naruko was shocked to hear such a statement as she tried to pull out her chains but to her shock. They were not coming out. What was going on here? As Naruto has destroyed the connection between herself and her chakra chains, she no longer ever in her whole life will be able to produce new chains. This statement utterly shocked and horrified Kushina as she looked towards her daughter. What, what was going on here? What was that purplish energy that surrounded the, you can say, the chains of Naruko as Naruko had a horrified expression on her face as Menma started to feel bad about Naruko as she glared, he glared towards Naruto enough as he rushed towards Naruto as he started to make a Rosengan in his hand Naruko already had tears in her eyes but that tears and you can say that sorrow turned into anger as the split came to her eyes as she rushed towards Naruto with a Rosengan in her hand as both Menma and Naruko were coming towards Naruto as Naruto simply smiled and he vanishes from the eyes of everyone shattering the ground beneath him as he grabbed the Rosengans literally by his hand shocking both Menma and Naruko who was in blind rage but she realized what was going on here as Naruto started to squeeze their hands on the Rosengan as Menma and Naruko quickly realized what was going on here but Naruto has moved their hand at such a speed as Rosengan exploded literally as Menma and Naruko screamed out in pain both of their hands had burned badly but before they could realize what was going on here as Naruto grabbed the head of Menma and slammed it into the head of Naruko slamming both of them into the ground as both of them let out a scream of pure pain and agony as Naruto grabbed Menma by the hair pulled him upward and slammed his fist into the gut of Menma as a crunching sound could be heard. Several of Menma's ribs had broken at this point as blood came from the mouth of Menma horrifying many of the civilian and the shinobi council members as Naruto looked towards the council members with a you can say devilish grin on his face as he slammed the face of Menma into the ground. Another scream came from the face of Menma's nose shattering as well as the scream coming from his mouth as Naruko tried to punch Naruto but Naruto grabbed her arm and he looked towards especially towards Kushina and Jiraiya as he moved the hand of Naruko in such an anger crunch as Naruko's arm was broken as there was a you can say scream coming from her mouth as shocking both Minato and Kushina by brutality while on the other hand at this point the civilian council members has frozen in utter fear while on the other hand the shinobi council members could not believe what they were saying as many of them have started to realize that this kid he was powerful powerful than even Menma and Naruko and he Naruto looked towards both of them huh. So this is the years of training done by two of the Sanin, two s rank shinobis and the Hokage themselves have brought out. Huh? As he pulled 
Manma's face upward, who was almost unconscious at this point, as Naruto slapped him on the face, bringing him completely to consciousness. But his injuries was literally too much for him at this point. I must say, you are even more pathetic than that loser of a Uchiha. Well, I can understand. He come from a weak clan, after all, as who lost to the Senjus, who did not even have the bloodline, any bloodline. Huh, pathetic. At this, Fugaku gripped his face tightly. He wanted to rush there and teach this demon of a brat a lesson. But you, Manma, huh, you were trained by four S rank shinobis. Well, the Hokage is said to be double S rank, but who cares about such, such a minor inconveniency? After all, you are the son of the Hokage, the heir. Well, now, the former heir to the Namakase clan. Perhaps you have forgotten one thing, little brother. As Konoha lost section 5, article 3. Whenever a heir were to lose his title as in a combat against his relative, then he shall be, well, for the lack of a better word, expelled from the clan. At this, suddenly, many of the Shinobi Council members' eyes widened. Well then, men ma nama well, no longer Namakaze after all. You are hereby exiled from the clan. Well then, only Menma. What do you have to say for yourself, huh, brother? At this, Menma simply had horrified expression on his face beyond his imagination. Well, you are still the son of the Hokage. Well, now, considering that he's the head of the Namakaze clan, abandoned and disowned son, wouldn't you agree, father? As not to grab the hand of Menma and pull it in the opposite direction, as Menma screamed on the top of his lung, breaking it. As there was dead silence as Naruko tried to move, but Naruto slammed his, you can say, foot on the face of Naruko, slamming her nose, shattering it into the ground. As Naruto was, you can say, looking towards his little sibling, well then, Naruko Uzu, well, as I said to Manma before, you have also lost the name of the Uzumaki, as well as the chakra chains, well thanks for these chains. As he looked towards the chains and started to, the chains started to disappear along with a purplish energy as Naruto closes his eyes. And just like that, it appeared inside of Naruto's body as Naruto smirked as he pushed his back a little back and the chains, nine chains surrounded with purplish energy came out of his back. Well, 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 look at that. After all, I am the heir to the Uzumaki clan, so therefore, these chains suit me much better. Wouldn't you agree, little sister? <laughs> well then, you are no longer a part of the Uzumaki clan, as not to grab both Melma and Ruko, and just to be make sure, as he slammed both of them outside in the wall around the academy, outside of the rink, as there was a dead silence in the whole area. As Naruto looked toward the, you can say, the council member, the civilian, the shinobi, the elder, as well as the Hokage. Well, in the presence of the Hokage, the council, in its entirety, of the civilian, the shinobi, the elder council, as well as the Jonin council, by looking toward the hidden Jonins that were present there, I accepted the challenge and therefore won the challenge and by Konoha, last, I am hereby the heir to the Uzumaki and Namakase clan. As he looked towards and according to the law made by the Shodaime Hokage as well as the clan laws founded by the all the founders at the founding of the village, both Namakaze, well, no longer Namakaze, after all, Menma and Ruko are hereby exiled from both the Uzumaki and the Namakaze clan as Jiraiya clenched his fist in pure utter rage. He wanted to jump there a long time ago, but there was little he could do at that point. After all, the whole council member was present. They could handle the council, but damn, the advisors of the Fire Damio was there, who was now looking towards everything as they started to murmur among themselves. They have to give this information to the Fire Damio. After all, the little prince was also present here and he has seen it all. As the princess of the Fire Damio, Fire Country, was present as she has seen the whole match, as she was at awe of the power at that blonde. So they will give this information and they are, there's nothing they could do to change that any longer, as Naruto looked towards his father with an arrogant smirk on his face. Well, father, mother, are you not going to con congratulate me, huh, for becoming your heirs, obviously, as 
Kushina had tears in her eyes as she rushed towards Manma and Ruko to look towards them as not to look towards both of them with a smirk on his face. Well, as so you know, they are going to be live outside of the compound by the law, of course, as he decided to walk away. As Minato clenched his fist, he should have stopped Menma and Ruko, but now his duties as the Hokage he will have to oblige by the law, otherwise many of the, you can say, the council will cause a lot of trouble, especially his rivals in the council like Hyuga, Hiyashi Hyuga as well as Fugaku Uchiha, who will remind him about the law and this is going to cause trouble, a lot, a lot of trouble as he clenched his fist, as he glared towards Naruto. As why? Why did his son have to do that? And why did his other children have to challenge him? This is going to cause a lot of trouble. As he looked towards, you can say, the advisors of the five daimyo who were about to leave along with the little princess. As she, as he cursed under his breath, this is trouble, a lot of it. As while Onji Tsunade has already started to heal the broken body, as Naruto looked towards Iroka, well, Iroka sensei, I suppose you have a duty, don't you? As Iroka quickly came to attention as he looked towards Naruto and then the broken and especially the outside of the ring form of both Menma and Iroka, uh, well, winner Naruto Uzumaki Namakase, as Naruto smirked at that, as he started to simply walk away, as after all, he has much to decide for his future, as he simply gave a look to his, you can say, Kushina's crying form and Tsunade's, you can say, healing form of both Menma and Ruko, the glaring form of Jiraiya, as Naruto gave a smirk to Jiraiya as purplish energy came to his eyes, this shocked Jiraiya, what, what kind of power was that, what is going on here? As he looked towards Menma and Ruko, he has to talk to the great elder Toad Sage as soon as possible. As a cold feeling of dread started to come to his feet, was he? As a dark thought came to his mind, was he actually wrong about Menma and Ruko? As we looked towards Naruto, as I saw the burning form of the world around him, as he quickly came out of that small illusion, yes, he has to talk to the great elder Toad Sage as soon as possible. But hey guys, here I will have this part. Hope you guys enjoyed it. For the next part, you guys already know the like goal, the comment goal, complete that and I shall upload the next part as soon as possible. Who knows, it could even be today. So yeah guys, it is mainly up to you guys. And see ya and subscribe, subscribe, like and especially comment. So yeah, peace.